And in today's video, I'm going to be touring this beautiful manufactured home. I'm out here at Home Max in Lexington, South Carolina. This was highly requested by one of our subscribers. She got her home here and I'm actually going to point out in another video which one is her home. This is number one, okay? They are numbered. This is manufactured home number one. Let's do a quick walk around. I hope you're able to see the exterior. Um, I know it's loud, it's always loud. They always sit off the road. Sometimes they're kind of hard to hear when I'm outside. This is the back, okay? This is the back of the mobile home. This is mobile home number one. It's a 32 by 64. It's 1,830 square feet. So this is a nice size home, you guys. Again, I'm out here at Home Max in Lexington, South Carolina. So let's go on in and we're gonna see what this home looks like on the inside. I gotta tell you, you guys, I'm so impressed with this home. I walked in it to put my stuff down because I'm loaded down with camera equipment and... Hey family, just a quick disclaimer. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing, or specification, all the information I have will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. Um, bottled water. <laughs> so this is just a quick peek around. I'm going to turn around and let you see the living room. This is where I came in. Okay. Where you come in, you have your little landing there. I can see a, a little basket there with keys. Um, right by the door, you've got space for an entry table over here, which is always nice. You could do an entry table or a bench. I think I would do maybe a bench with a little table next to it because you got the plug there for uh for a lamp so anywho on around to the living room this is what the living room looks like love 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 the uh this area you've actually got space for a nice size tv you can put a 65 inch TV in that in that cutout there. I love that cool cucumber. That color is absolutely beautiful. I'm loving the shiplap. Um, you don't have to get it. You can order this home. It's totally up to you. But this is a nice entertainment area, you guys. You've got space for all of your goodies, right? You've got space for, for your electronics. Uh, you've got space for games books just whatever you like i think it's absolutely beautiful plenty of outlets don't mind those holes they won't be there i'm pretty sure they had shelving or something there and that's why they're there but of course your home wouldn't have that absolutely beautiful there's actually backsplash uh in the kitchen and they brought the backsplash into this area which is always a nice touch when they tie the home together with the features. You've got vents in the ceiling and a nice ceiling fan um, in this living room. And again, you've got a separation here. So you've got an entryway and you've got your living room here off to the right of the door. Really, really nice. So that's your living room area. From the living room, let's turn around and you've got your dining room and kitchen here, really nice. This is a large dining room table, you guys. So look at, the, look at the space that you have in the dining room. All of this is your dining room area. You've got a walkway here that uh, is not 
interrupted by the dining room table. You've got this large dining room table that could probably seat. It's only got two chairs, but you could easily put three chairs on each side. So this table could fit eight. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got a double window. <coughs> I'm sorry. You've got a double window in the dining room. Lots of natural light. Let me get a drink. Lots of natural light in this house, you guys. Really, really nice. Love it. So that's your dining room. Don't forget we've got finished drywall instead of just sheetrock. Always a nice touch. You got white cabinets in your kitchen. Love the ceiling. Beautiful. Love how the pendant light comes down out of the recessed ceiling. If you want to change the um, fixtures on the pendant lights, you absolutely can. That may be a little old fashioned for some. I could see the bulb lights in here. That would be really pretty. Look at your built in microwave over your ceramic top stove. You've got double sinks here and a sprayer. You got a window that opens and there, that's what your cabinets look like. Really nice, really nice. There's that backsplash. We saw it, a little bit of it in the living room. Super, super nice, super nice. Let me come back. I don't think I was here long enough. So you've got shelves in the top cabinets. And then you've got extra storage cabinets that also have shelving up there, which is a nice feature because these are smaller cabinets. So. But that is a nice feature. Really nice. Really, really nice. You've got your double refrigerator and look at all that pantry space. Super cute. You got this large, large island. Doesn't have a sink in it, so you've got a lot of space on this island. Really nice. For every drawer, for every cabinet, there's a drawer. I always love that. I always love that. So you've got a lot, a lot of space in this kitchen. Really nice. Really nice. This is the utility room. The uh, color over the entertainment system is also in this utility room, which gives it a nice pop. I think that's absolute. That's absolutely my taste. I absolutely love it. So your washer and your dryer will go here next to the back door. You got space for all of your uh, washing powder and everything up there. You've also got space for a deep freezer over here, which is always a nice touch. Now you don't have to put a deep freezer over here. You can put shelving um, for your extra storage supplies, your appliances. You can make a little desk area over here. It's a lot that you could do in that space, but this is a nice size utility room. And again, that same color that's over the entertainment system is in there. It gives it a nice pop. I absolutely love that. Absolutely love it. So wonderful, 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 wonderful. So I'm gonna go back over here by the door and give you another look around. From the door, you've got your living room here dining room and your kitchen really nice and that green is also in the ceiling so that's nice and i did mention the pendant lighting that's in the kitchen always a nice touch now to the right of the living room you've got your additional bedroom so let's go down this hall and see what we got on the left here we have your guest bathroom now this is two rooms so let's go back here you've got a window that opens in this room you've got a tub and shower combo over here and your toilet is over there love that they have towel racks in here a lot of times you get you get these homes and they don't have towel racks all right and in the first room you've got a double sink 
You got cabinets and drawers, but you got a double sink in the guest ba guest bathroom. And then you've got all of the storage space for like a linen closet. So you've got lots and lots of space for all of your storage needs. Each one of these cabinets has a shelf, which is a super, super nice feature. I love that. Hard to find in some of these homes. So that's a nice touch. Very nice. Everybody can get ready at the same time. One, one child can be at the sink and the other one in the shower. Super, super nice. So that's the guest bath. Over here, you've got guest bedroom number one. Love the size of this guest bedroom. Really nice size guest bedroom. Love the quality of the carpet in this home. I feel like I'm sinking down in. You've got two windows in here and you've got a nice walk-in closet. Super nice walk-in closet, really nice. Very nice. Carpet is extended into the closet. And I am all the way by over here on this wall and all of this is guest bedroom. Okay. So that's guest bedroom number one. Now we've got guest bedroom number two. Looks to be the same size guest bedroom. You've only got one window in here and you've got Another walk-in closet. Really nice. Again, I'm all the way over here. And all of that is guest bedroom. So this is guest bedroom number two. Very nice. So now, again, down this hall, you've got your guest bath and two bedrooms. All right, and that's to the right of the living room. And then if you go back through the living room, down this hall is the master. So let's take a look. Love the little hallway to get to the master. It's not right off the living room, which is really nice. This is the master, another nice size bedroom. So all of this is master, okay? I'm gonna come over here. You got two windows. You can put your headboard between the windows or you can put them on this wall. I personally would put them on this wall. Really nice. Your master closet is over here, separate from the bathroom, which is always nice. And look at the size of this closet. Really nice. So all of this, is your master closet. Really nice. All of that is your master closet. Me and my husband could share this, you guys. <laughs> we could absolutely share this closet. Super nice. All right, so that's your closet. Let's take a look at the master bath. So this is what you see when you're walking into the master bath. You've got two sinks over here. Love the separation of the sinks. Both sinks have two cabinets. You've got a makeup table in the middle and you've got lots of mirror and lighting for everyone. Across from the two sinks um, is a really big sunken tub. You've got a frosted window over the sink, so you got lots of natural light, but you don't have to worry about people seeing uh, into your bathroom while you're taking a bath. You've got shelving at the head of the tub, really nice. And then you've got this nice shower at the foot of the tub. The shower has the rain shower, shower head, love it. And you got a nice bench. in the shower. Really nice. Across from the shower is the toilet. You've got another shower, uh, another towel rack, and then you've got more storage space 
with shelving. Love how the shelf sits back so you can have space up there and down here for whatever your needs. And each one of the sections has the shelf. Really nice. This is really nice. Y'all, if there are any pictures on the website, I'll absolutely post them. I hope that I'm doing um, this tour justice because this bathroom is super gorgeous. So again, this is Home Max. It's a manufactured home dealer in Lexington, South Carolina. They do not post prices. So if you want any information, they do not post prices. So if you want any information, you can give them a call. Um, and uh, all of their information will also be down in the description box, okay? All right, thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.